and not only connectivity. For example, you have very good, uh, very qualified uh, teachers in the cities, but you may not have the same resources in the countryside. So, the ICT will help us to eliminate this uh, education gap between cities and uh, remote areas and the countryside. But also in the cities or in those very well developed uh, areas, you already have uh, good education, but then quality of education may not be the same. ICT could help. You cannot ask students to go everywhere to look at uh, Everything. A lot of things could be done by ICT, and uh, ITU had worked with our industry from very early time to provide uh, education courses to the public, broadcasting, television, satellite. Nowadays, with a virtual uh, platform like uh, Zoom, Teams, all this, you know that. Therefore, you understand the connectivity today still very fundamental, and today we still have three billion people not connected online yet. Three billion. Over pandemic, we had the improvement about one billion people connected. Because people consider that it's absolutely necessary, right. basic. So they, they, they try the best. So we have, now, since pandemic seems to be at the, at, the, at the time, not that kind of getting worse to, to complicate cut people. And since people may feel that it's already, at that moment is already passed, so the connectability of the next three billion people Still a big challenge to us. Should be already put behind us mm. before mm. today. Should be finished by 2050. It's not. No, so this is something we are still uh, very much concerned and uh, we like to, to work uh, hard to, 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 to convince government, multi stakeholder industries and international industries, carriers, you know, and uh, investigators, invest, investors, and every, everybody to, 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 to work together. Uh, here, again, I also invite our society, our community to pay attention. Now, for me, I have four priorities. Infrastructure, because we still have uh, three billion people not connected yet. To connect them is a big challenge. And to upgrade the current infrastructure service level to higher one, for example, 4G to 5G, and the next uh, 5 to 6G in the future. You know. So just like that. First I uh, is uh, infrastructure. So we needed to have uh, infrastructure. Then we have to get the investment. Where is the investment? For ICT up to now, 95% uh, invested by private sector, not by government, not by public authority. Private sector, you don't give them any profit, how can we create a good environment to attract the investment there, to the villages, to the mountain areas, remote areas? Government needed to do something to create a good environment. Then another I is innovation. Innovation for new technology. Technology is not necessarily coming from big companies. The SMEs, small medium sized enterprises, they have a reach of innovative ideas and a very rich power of innovation. So we have to also encourage them, because it's them who really help us to modernize the society, not uh, the big guys. Big guys uh, provide the basic uh, technologies, but it's the local SMEs to bring these technologies to the local community. I have four eyes. Mm -hmm. Last eye is uh, inclusiveness. We have to include mm -hmm. everybody. Now we are, we are focusing on the uh, generation that everybody focuses on that one. We have to do that. We have to make an effort. But we should not forget the older generation. We did have this for ICT for girls, for women, and we have uh, already, you know, tried to cover all the major mm -hmm. area. But we we have not put that for the older people. So this year I put that theme to help older people.